Okay. Adding fractions. We're going to start by adding a half and three fifths. The method we're going to use is called cross multiplying and it's one which will work with any pair of fractions. In cross multiplying what we do is we take this number multiplied by this number and we push it on top here. We take this number multiplied by this number, push it on top here, and then take the two bottom numbers, this number and this number, and put it on the bottom of each of the fractions. That then gives us a pair of fractions where the bottoms are the same and the tops reflect the sizes of each of the two original tops, and we can then add those together to get our final answer. So, without any more ado, 1 by 5 goes on top here, so that's 1 by 5. 3 by 2 goes on top here, 3 by 2. And on the bottom we have 2 by 5 and 2 by 5. Okay, so that gives us 5 on top here, 10 on the bottom, those two fives are 10. 3 twos are 6, that goes on the top here. And on the bottom here again, it's 2 by 5, which gives us 10. Once the bottom parts of two fractions are the same, we can just add the two top numbers. So 5 and 6 gives us 11. And the 10 on the bottom remains the same. OK, so that's it. It's called cross multiplying. And you do it when you're adding fractions together. I'm going to work through one more example of that just to show you how it works. On the top here, we're going to have 3 by 7. 3 by 7. On the top here, we're going to have 2 by, two by 4. On the bottom, we're going to have 4 by 7. And on the bottom, we're going to have 4 by 7. So that gives us on the top 21, and on the bottom 28. On the top here we've got 8, and on the bottom we've got 28, that's 4 by 7. And when we add 21 and 8, we get 29 over 28, which is our final answer. Okay.